That'd be good. Good. Good afternoon. Welcome again to the 119th U.S. Open Championship. It is my pleasure to welcome this afternoon nine-time USGA champion Tiger Woods. Among those nine USGA championships are the uh, three U.S. Opens, 2008, 2002, and of course here in 2000, a 15-stroke victory that we all, uh, you know, still continue to marvel at. Tiger, can you talk a little bit about, you know, certainly that that win, mm -hmm. and but also coming back to Pebble Beach this week and your, your third U.S. Open here? Yeah, it's. Uh it's crazy. It's been 19 years. Um, I, I still remember most of the shots I hit that week. It was just one of those weeks where uh, I, I don't know how, how I pulled it off, but on Seaside Poana, I never missed a putt inside 10 feet for a week. Um, well, I did the same thing at Torrey, too. So, uh, <laughs> so I've, I've putted on, you know, Poa Greens, you know, well, and I grew up on it. And that week just happened to be a very special week. I made everything. And... Uh, not only that, I was hitting it well, and and when I did miss it, I missed it in all the correct spots, and so I had the best angles. And uh, again, to be able to put on on greens this deep and bumpy as they get in the afternoon, and I said not miss a putt at 110 feet uh, was saying something. And can you talk a little bit about your preparations coming into this week, and just generally how you're feeling coming into the the 2019? Yeah, US I'm looking Open? looking forward to it. You know that. It's been a while since we played the U.S. Open here, and um, there's nothing like playing a U.S. Open set up here at Pebble Beach. I mean, it's, the golf course is not overly long. It's not, you know, big in that regard, but, man, is it, it's tricky. Uh, the greens are it's all slanted, very small targets, and if they ever, if they ever firm up, then, then we have a you know, totally different ball game. Great. Thanks so much. We'll open it right to questions. We have ones on the left-hand side. Steve first. <coughs> Quick ones. Why did you decide not to play today? Just a rest day. You know, I did the same thing at Augusta. You know, and um, just trying to save my my energy. You know, it's more important for me to feel energized than it is to go out there and get wear and tear. And were you? Yeah. No, it's. Um, yeah, it's kind of ironic that he said he, he called 14. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I proved him wrong. <laughs> Question right in front, Art. Growing up in uh, Southern California, you were obviously familiar with Pebble, just mm -hmm. legend. When's the first time you played it, and what, were your, what was your reaction after hearing about it? Oh, the first time I ever played it, I, I played with Pops, and... Hard to believe that um, it was under 100 bucks to play, and so my my dad uh, made a vow that he would never ever play f a round of golf if he had to pay for 100 bucks or more. So, luckily, it was still under 100 bucks then, and we got a chance to play Pebble Beach. Uh, I didn't hit it very far. I must have been what nine or ten. So it was a it was a long, soft, wet golf course to me. But it was cool to see that you know, this is the same thing we watch every year, you know, in what February, um, see where the pros play. And it was always cool for me to go down to Torrey Pines where they play the Andy Williams and our LA, uh, play LA Open. For me to go to tour sites, you know, and, and play the tour sites. And that's always a pretty neat thrill as an amateur. Two questions on the left, right here. Mm -hmm. A lot of reminiscing this week. Even though it's been so long, is there anything you can take? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 as I was alluding to earlier um, in my opening statement, that I missed the ball in the correct spots. You know, the, the only real trouble I had, I just happened to catch a gust of wind and end up making a debacle at number three on, on the, my third round. Uh, but other than that, you look at all my angles, I hit the ball. In the, I did not hit every green. I did not hit every fairway, but always had the proper angle. And... Um, gave me the best chance to, to get up and down, and I poured everything in. So, you know, hopefully I have one of those weeks in the greens again. Another question right next to him. Tiger, as you know, 50th anniversary of Payne Stewart's uh, win at Pinehurst, and 